Did you think to take any extinguishers when you stole the ship? See what you can do with this thing. That's two more shuttles you owe me. You didn't even own this one. It really shouldn't count. It was mine when it crashed. It counts. I didn't realize we were being billed for this level of service. It's just a little game we have. You will be reimbursed. Of course. Never doubted it. Anything on your sensors? Confirmation. I have detected a large metallic object nearby. Analysis suggests a technological construct, but there are no energy readings. Whatever it is, it's got better chances of flying than this thing. Engines fried to a crisp. Skytroopers won't be far behind us. We need to hide the evidence of our landing. I'll scavenge you, Barry. Just like Aaron Prime. I want you to know that I appreciate all you've done. You've obviously risked a lot to rescue me. Thank you. You're welcome. Though, of course, the rescue isn't quite over yet. I know you have more questions than answers, but we should really keep moving. I promise I'll tell you everything I can as soon as we're safe. Enthusiasm. Shall we investigate the technological object? I believe I can guide us to its location. Sounds like a plan. Admiration. It is a great pleasure to witness your skills firsthand, Master. Master? Clarification. Master Benico altered my programming before we secured your release. I am to serve you with the same unexcelled loyalty with which I serve her. In fact, your survival is now my highest priority. I'm no more important than Lana or Koth. Don't prioritize me above them. Concession. I will alter my prioritization as you request, Master. Gossip. You are just as selfless as I had been led to believe. Resumption. Shall we continue? Is this the object you picked up on your sensors? Confirmation. Yes, Master. A closer scan suggests that this object has been here for several centuries. Centuries? Of all the junk out here, you had to find the antique. Observation. Visible design elements do not match any from Zakulan culture, antique or modern. Not from Zakul. Could it be? He doesn't overthink things. Do you have any idea what this is? Thick hull. I see a few good spots for weapons. Some kind of combat frigate, I'd guess. This is the Gravestone. This was the only ship that ever went up against the Eternal Fleet and won. Do you have any idea how long people have been looking for this thing? And we just happened to stumble upon it. You said this ship went up against the Eternal Fleet and won, but it's rusting in a swamp while the fleet is still around. The fleet is even older than Valkyrie, maybe even older than Zakul. The battles happened centuries ago. 
Nobody knows the details of the whole war, but every story talks about the gravestone. One ship with the firepower to take on the Eternal Fleet. This is fate. We get your Outlander. Find exactly the weapon we need. We're going to win this thing, Lana. It's destiny. It's certainly no coincidence, but destiny? I think there's something else going on here. You think this is some kind of setup? No, not exactly. I can't quite put my finger on it. Let's have a look inside, huh? Assessment. Nearby signs of animal activity suggest local predators may be using this wreck as a nesting ground. Caution is advised. We'll split up, deal with any wildlife, then regroup to plan our next move. if they didn't make a safe landing. We'll know soon enough. Sky Troopers, sweep the area. Focus on regions with high metallic sensor readings. I oversaw security in the Carbonite prison. I... I humbly submit myself to answer for this failure. I didn't like his answer. So this ship has been here for a thousand years? More? Right. It's amazing that it's in such good condition, considering. Judging by the damage I've seen, the stories are true. Whoever built the gravestone scuttled it themselves after the Eternal Fleet was defeated. It wasn't shot down. The fleet was defeated but not destroyed. Valkorion brought it back under his own control more than a century ago. Exactly. The Eternal Fleet is totally automated. Nobody knows who first built it. And every theory is crazier than the last. Renegades left behind after a successful droid revolution. Representatives of an entire race of droids from somewhere beyond the edge of the known galaxy. Like I said, crazy stuff. But no matter where it came from, the Eternal Fleet is practically unstoppable. And Arkin controls every single ship from the throne. If Falcorian has had this unstoppable fleet for more than a century, why didn't he use it to help the Sith Empire defeat the Republic? We can only theorize. If the war was just part of a ritual to make the Emperor truly immortal, perhaps using the fleet would have interfered somehow. Regardless, we have many other things to discuss. I owe you five years worth of explanations. And I'm gonna need some parts to get this thing moving again. Locating supplies and fresh water would also be wise. I'll help you find what we need, Lana. Very well. Assertion. I will begin a patrol pattern to ensure that no enemy forces report our position. Arthmar and I faced Valkorion. We knew right away. He was the Sith Emperor, Lana. I know. When he was struck down, it released ripples through the Force. Everyone who had felt the Sith Emperor's presence in the past, on Zyast, on Yavin 4, we all sensed what had happened. Arkan invaded soon after, claiming that an outlander had assassinated his father, the immortal Emperor. It didn't take long for us to unravel the truth. Which side did Arkan attack first? Both. Ships from the Eternal Fleet struck at shipyards and rallying points for both sides simultaneously. They favored ambush tactics throughout the war. Zakulan sensor technology has far greater range than our own, and their ships can fly much further on less resources. Only vessels retrofitted with Isotope 5 could manage to outrun them. None could truly compete. How long did the Republic and the Empire manage to hold out? 
Within three months, the bulk of our naval forces were disabled or eliminated, and the Republic was in the same situation. With naval superiority, Arkans forces could begin choking off supply lines, trade, any ship travel at all. The Eternal Fleet seemed to be everywhere at once. Coruscant and Drom and Kars were blockaded by the end of the first year. end. The members of the Dark Council fought Arkan's invasion ruthlessly and lost. The Empire's treaty was ultimately negotiated by the Minister of Logistics. Chancellor Suresh also refused to discuss surrender, but the Republic Senate managed to overrule her. A cadre of senators negotiated their own ceasefire terms. All of those senators have since been disgraced or dismissed. I'm sure you can imagine the likely culprit. So far, the treaties with Zakul have held but that will not last forever. A freshwater spring. It should be safe for drinking. The Eternal Fleet overwhelmed both the Republic and the Empire. What was the result? Both sides are forced to pay a heavy tribute to Zakul, mainly raw materials and resources. They're also held under an arms limitation statute. The Empire and the Republic are both breaking it, of course, but they're still incapable of challenging the throne directly. Who's in charge of the Republic now? Suresh reached the end of her term limits recently, but her replacement is a carefully selected puppet. She still runs things, even if she isn't officially the Chancellor anymore. And the Empire? Only one member of the Dark Council remained after the chaos. Darth Asina. She now rules as Empress of the Sith. Both sides see this only as an opportunity to eliminate one another at a time of weakness, instead of combining what strength they have. Arkan does nothing to prevent violence between them, so long as their tribute is paid and no one challenges Zakul's superiority. I'm surprised Arkan didn't try to destroy both governments. He obviously had the firepower. I don't think Arkan feels any desire to actually govern our portion of the galaxy. For now, he sees it as a backwater, useful only for resources. Powerful Zakulan battle stations have been placed in orbit around key worlds to watch for possible uprisings. But there are no ongoing planetary occupations. The ships of the Eternal Fleet simply patrol at random, while the tribute paid to Zakul gradually chokes all economic potential. What about my team? My ship? I have allies looking for them as we speak. With all of the chaos of the last few years, though, it will take time to find them all. For now, we make do with ourselves, Koth and HK. You obviously put a lot of thought into getting me out. Did you think about what would come after? Of course, though I admittedly didn't plan on being stranded in this swamp. For now, let's take things one step at a time. So, why me? You clearly went to a lot of trouble to get me out of Carbonite. Before you were captured, you accomplished things no one else dared to attempt. You changed the galaxy more than once. And if things have ever needed to change, now is the time. There is something else. Uh, I've felt it since the moment I found you in Carbonite. There's a power in you. Something new. It's elusive, but I know it's there. I think you're right, Lana. I think the Emperor, Valkorion, is in my mind. What? After he died, there was a storm of energy. I barely even remember being thrown into the carbon freezing chamber. And then... While I was frozen, I saw things, dreamed about him, about everything that happened while I was gone. It can't be. If he were controlling you, I'd know it. I certainly saw enough of it on Zyost. I haven't heard his voice since you revived me, but is there really any way I could know for sure that he isn't controlling me? I suppose not, but we have to try. 
I believe in you. And I appreciate your honesty. I'll remain watchful for any influence he might have over you. For the time being, though, we have no choice but to proceed. What about the others? They wouldn't understand. And like you said, we really don't know anything for sure yet. Let's keep the matter between us for now. predators with poor survival instincts. Our position appears to be secure at this time, but I would still advise caution on your return trip, Masters. Keep up the good work, HK. Appreciation. It will be my pleasure to do so, Master. Hey there. Did you find something tasty? We definitely found something. Great. I've got a pretty good idea of the parts we'll need. Let's go see what we can find. It's destiny. I ditch all these parts before we crash, we find the gravestone, and then what do we need to get it flying? Honestly, it's plain as day. Not for Lana, though. For her, it's all just skill and luck and coincidence. Relying on fate to get you out of... It's destiny. Not... I'm with you. Things always end up going my way. There's really no other explanation. Let's hope that includes taking down Arkin. Lana's told me about all the things you've done. More than once. Half the reason I agreed to this crazy rescue was to see if you were actually real. So, I figure I know all about your past. You deserve to know mine. Lana might have told you I was the captain of a warship during Arkin's campaign against the Core Worlds. My crew and I deserted, but I'm not going to pretend we didn't do our share of damage beforehand. Just... Thought you should hear it from me. Lana mentioned that you deserted instead of following orders. What was the order? We were holding territory on Denon. Locals rioted and orders were to open fire until they stopped. None of us even wanted to be there. Massacring civilians? That's not how Sakul is supposed to operate. Thank you for being honest with me. You and your crew made the right choice. Glad you think so. One more thing. As long as we're being honest. When you risked your life to shut that generator down, you showed me that you're someone I can count on. I want to take Arkin down, but we don't have to take down all of Zakul with him. I'm glad to know you understand that, too. Too many innocent people have suffered already. I am not going to add to that. Thank you. Come on. Let's get this stuff back to the gravestone. Please rendezvous at my current coordinates at your earliest convenience, Masters. I require assistance. Plastic droid. Save us! What the hell is going on here? What did you do to them? Protestation. I have done nothing to these pitiable meatbags, Master. They were merely bystanders when I destroyed a group of sky troopers. They requested our help in escaping the enemy's notice. Please, we are no danger to you. We were exiled for protesting Emperor Arkhan's war. We've already lost two of our friends. Please, is there anything you can do for us? We're repairing a ship with room for passengers. We can get you out of here. You're serious? That's incredible. Thank you. Thank you so much. We're doing the right thing. Thank you. You're sure we can make it fly again? She'll fly. Just been waiting for somebody to come along and remind her how. Let's get to work then.
take if you have questions. Don't be so surprised. Where you go, I go. We are indivisible now. The gravestone. Not entirely what I'd envisioned. I thought you were just a dream. I assure you, I am real, as is my intent to see you flourish. You have had a taste of my son's empire, his reach, and Valen. She does not believe in respect. We can only defeat Arkham if we work together. I don't buy for one moment that you're on my side. Were the roles reversed, perhaps I would be skeptical as well. But what if I could prove my sincerity? Would you continue to see me as your eternal nemesis? Or would you open your eyes to the truth? Get ready for a fight, people! They found us! Sky Troopers breaching the entrance! That's just the first wave. They have more on the way. I'll head them off. The gravestone will be ready soon. I just need... Don't say three minutes. Buy me some time. I'll get us airborne. I'm with you. HK, stay behind and help cough. Until I say so. Don't touch anything. say they were more on the way. Something I've learned to count on regarding Arkan. There will always be more. There are too many! We have to keep fighting! Hey! You two need a hand out there? No. We have help. You what? You got one of the knights to switch sides. Not all of us blindly follow Arkin. More resistance, knights. Hi, Justice. We have the Outlander. I do hope you're up to fighting your own, Senya. My issue isn't with them. But if they're going to stand in my way... I see you found another pragmatist. Stow the chatter. Prove you can fight. What is this? An opportunity. You are outmatched. Death is all but certain for your Sith friend. I could save her. I only require the briefest moment of control. Accept my help. Or watch her die. Choose quickly. Time has not stopped. I'll never give in to you. Very well. Ah! We can do this. 
Keep fighting! They haven't killed you yet. Come on! Koth, thank you. Is the gravestone ready for takeoff? Far as I can tell. Looks like we've got everyone. Let's go. No, wait. Where's Senya? Excuse me? Where's who? Here I am. Let's move out. Whoa, wait a minute. Hang on. She's your help? If you think I'm letting that piece of work on my ship, you're out of here. Interjection. Many more hostiles are approaching. Permission to defend with extreme prejudice. No more fighting. We must leave Zakul. I'll prep the engines. Come on, Lana. No. I'm needed out here. I'll be fine. Be ready to move. The ship will never pull itself up from the muck. We'll have to give it a push. Firing up the engines. I hope. We can do this. I'll make sure you aren't interrupted. Thank you. doing it. Can you believe it? Observation. The ship is rising. Conclusion. Belief is not required. Glad you worked that out. so we can finally get moving. How about that? My gravestone can move. Considering how we found it, I'd say you've outdone yourself. Team effort. I'd say everyone outdid themselves. Incoming! Dropping out of hyperspace! It's... it's a lot! The Eternal Fleet. They aren't firing. Ugly okay, ship. What are you waiting for? shields, and we need a gunner. I'll take care of it. Omni cannons up. There's a capital ship near the center. I see it. Good. Now hit it. It's real. We could take the whole fleet. Statement. The hyperdrive now meets minimum functionality requirements. Why didn't you say so? All right, let's get out of here. More than two dozen ships lost in a single shot. So that's the Gravestone. As powerful as they say. Everything stands at risk. The cool, the throne, my vision for the galaxy. All because we let the Outlander slip away. I'm not blaming you. I didn't think you were. Father held us all back. You more than any. Such raw power. And yet you're still spreading your wings. Finding your limits. Nice to be appreciated for a change. 
So, what now? Now, I act. No, no, no! What's happened? The hyperdrive worked. One time. Omni Cannon's fried too. What a mess. We're safely away from the fleet, if nothing else. Should be able to make it to Asylum, but let's not hold our breath. Who's being committed? Not that kind of Asylum. Asylum is a skyport. A safe haven from Arkin's patrols. Was she really necessary? She helped us raise the gravestone. She fought at our side. She also hunted me like an animal for years. She was Arkin's loyal knight. I thought I was in service to Zakul. You had abandoned your responsibilities. It sounds like you're both on the same side now. Whatever history you have, it's best to let it go. You don't know what she's capable of. You weren't there. Do they know what you're capable of, Vortana? If anybody needs me, I'll be somewhere. You could have at least consulted with me first. Yes, I wonder how that might have gone. Absolutely! I'd be glad to fix the gravestone by myself. Why can't there be a maintenance manual? Hey. Can you get the power? Right over there. Thanks. Wouldn't want to electrocute myself on top of everything else. She's really something, this ship. But no one's been taking care of her. You sure got attached in a hurry. No offense, but it's the gravestone that saved the galaxy from market. Not me. Not me. Definitely not Senya. Lana believes she can help us. That's enough for me. Hey, I trust Lana. I think the world... Look, I'm just saying she might not know Senya as well as she thinks. You really care about Lana, don't you? It's not like you're thinking. We've worked together for years. She saved my life more times than I can count. So I do what I can to return the favor. If that means storming into the Spire to pull some Outlander out of Carbonite, well... That's what I'll do. I'd be a frozen carcass if you hadn't. I have a good feeling, you know. We'll get Arkin. I should get back to it. Need to be sure the gravestone can get us all the way to Asylum. Hey, maybe you should check in on Lana. See how that wound's doing. You should have someone look at that. I'll heal. I was right to reach out to Senya. I hope you see that. She's a good fighter. She helped us raise the gravestone. I'd say she's an athlete. And she doesn't give up either. That was clear the first time I encountered her. We met shortly after I arrived in Wild Space. Senya was hunting Koth. I was hoping to learn your fate. We exchanged what information we could. This was all before I really knew Koth, of course. Years ago. Those two will have to get past their differences. It won't be easy. I suppose I should get back to healing. And you should get to know Senya. I'm not sure if you'll hit it off exactly, but I think you'll find her intriguing. Query. Has the meatbag bickering finally exhausted itself? One thing that hasn't changed in five years and I doubt it ever will, meatbag bickering. Agreement? You've said it, Master. Report. I have taken the liberty of checking in on your band of refugees. Assessment. They have quickly taken to their new lodging arrangements. I have warned them not to stray from their chosen location. Analysis. 
There are many sealed passageways, and I am unable to detect what may be on the other side. Worth looking into at some point. Revelation, I discovered an especially strange area. Unlike anywhere else on the gravestone, I had attempted to ascertain if any of its contents could be weaponized, but the new meat bag interrupted. Query, any orders, Master? As you were, HK. Approval. I like your orders. <laughs> I know. I couldn't help but take this place in either. Reminds me of a song I wrote. I wouldn't have pegged you for a songwriter. You know I get that a lot. Probably because most people meet me when I'm terse and angry. <laughs> I'd like to hear that. Just a few bars. Without accompaniment? I'm not that brave. You seem nothing at all like the person I met in the swamp. Being a knight means everything, but I don't let it define me. When it's time to go to work, I'm who I need to be. The rest of the time, I'm just myself. You don't strike me as all that different. You're an outlaw. No, you're a vital asset in the war. No, now you're a pirate outlaw. Enough to make your head spin. Think of it this way. You can be a vital pirate outlaw asset in the war against Arkin. I know why I oppose him. What's your reason? Years after the death of our immortal emperor, most are still so afflicted with remorse that they don't see what's happening. Arkin has become oppressive and cruel. He'll crush anyone who doesn't share his plan for the galaxy. So that's me. What about you? Arkin wants to lay waste to everything I've fought for and accomplished. I won't let him. Neither will I. I may not know much of the worlds you've inhabited, but I do know what he's doing to them. You're not what I expected. Not sure if that's good or bad yet. But I do know I'll have an easier time with you than Koth. I hope you'll try to get along. The more we work together, the better off we'll be. Just because he betrayed our enemy doesn't change the fact that he was a traitor. You need to be cautious. Valkorion lives. He is not himself, nor has he taken a new body. It is difficult to see, and yet it is unmistakable. His presence in the Force has always been deceptive. Like on the Yavin moon. Yes. And many times before and since. Even when my life depended on it, I did not see him properly until it was too late. 